do you ever wonder why everyone seems to just go crazy with all the fall vibes? I mean, people love decorating for fall. I mean, people love sharing their videos on social media that try to capture the, the look and the feel of fall. And um, I don't know, as we talk about this in this video about the slow living way to encourage and embrace this season, I think maybe we'll begin to uncover the answer to that question. It's beginning to look like and feel like fall here in Kentucky. And uh, it's made me be thinking lately that uh, there's much more to fall than, you know, just the trees beginning to lose their leaves and change color and that type of thing. And I know that's what we typically think about, but in recent years, I've been trying to pay a lot of closer attention to the whole host of other changes that take place this time of year as well. So I'm here visiting my mom for a couple of days. And as I was unloading a few things from the car and into the camper last night when I pulled up um, to her house, I really noticed the smell of fall in the air. Anyway, I'm already starting to see quite a few fallen leaves here, as you can notice. <laughs> and uh, beyond the trees, you can notice already like a lot of plants beginning to die off, or at least what's above the ground is beginning to die off too. And, and I had noticed this old log covered with moss on um, my walk, and I was thinking that we have a tendency sometimes to think of things that are old and beginning to fall apart as, as no longer being beautiful. But it seems if you set aside that cultural belief about this and you really look with curiosity, it seems that often we can find many things that, that seem to even become more interesting, like that weathered look becomes beautiful in its own way I don't know, like more complex, more nuanced, and maybe even like while life is fading from it, it even can seem a little bit more alive. I don't know, I think it's a general like belief that things lose their beauty. Um, and so I guess it reminds me that this is a really good time of year to take stock in your own belief system, kind of like a seasonal check-in, if you will. I mean, I think it's really a wise idea to do this from time to time because our beliefs are really the lens like through which we view our lives and through which we operate through. And it's, if, you know, if these beliefs are positive and encouraging to us, then we're more likely to be happier and, and feel like we're making progress in our own lives. Um, as an example, when I was thinking about this, I thought about, and I asked myself the question, um, what are my beliefs about money? And <laughs> the first thing that popped into my mind is it's hard to get. Well, that's a belief that I currently am holding that can't be serving me well. Um, I know there's many people out there that think that money is very easy to come by. And those are the people that money is flowing into their lives very easily. So. I don't know, if taking stock of your current beliefs and finding any limiting ones to you is an exercise that you would like to go through at this time of year, uh, you may want to, to do this with me. You may want to watch this video where I talk about a few ways that you can do this. Um, it gives you some journal prompts to assist you with the process and um, also shares how you can get rid of, of any beliefs you find that aren't that aren't working for you as well anymore. Um, you can also find in the description here to this video a guide for getting rid of limiting beliefs as well. So anyway, um, getting back to noticing what is happening in nature. I also really love to hear the sound of the crickets and how it changes, how they start to slow down this time of year. Can you hear it here? I mean, I wonder, how do they know to do this? It, I like to 
to now like take it as a sign that it's time for me to start thinking about slowing down as well and um, thinking about you know like think to yourself what can you do to encourage yourself to enjoy slowing down in your home even maybe um, maybe it's bringing out warm cozy things in your house so that you can you know savor the cool mornings and the evenings when they happen these days um, I like to turn to turn, and it seems like 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 more candles this time of year um, anyway I mentioned a moment ago about how how plants are beginning to shut down for winter and I think it's like nature's process of cleansing and renewal and, and this is like another way it reminds us to spend some time a year at, at this time of year to do this as well it might look like cleaning up your gardens if you have a garden you know putting it to rest for the winter I also think it's a great time to consider um, what no longer serves you inside your home to you know clear up any clutter to make space to make your home a place that that feels good to relax and linger in as the weather gets cooler I, I often find I always find after getting rid of a bunch of clutter things that no longer serve me in a space in my home that the energy of that space really just feels good um, we did this in the laundry room last weekend and and now every time when I walk in there it's I don't know I think I take a deep breath and I smile because it's just the space feels so much better to me do you ever notice this as well after you've um, you know decluttered an area or deep clean let me know in the comments um, if you're with me on this here on the other hand so people I know find decluttering can be very overwhelming and if this is something that you struggle with I guess my suggestion is just to start with a small space you know maybe it's a closet or even just a drawer and that can work really well so the other thing I think that about with fall is I think of what you know I think about it as a time for letting go and not just physical things like the decluttering that we just talked about but emotionally as well like what projects I've been working on that may no longer have that you know I may no longer have the same drive or the same passion for um, sometimes I think we just get to doing things and we do them and we do them because we get used to doing them without stopping to think like is this something we really want to keep doing so I think we can use fall as a time for like a reset and thinking about what do I really want to be doing in my life what do I value the most you know what makes me happy what makes me feel alive um, I think these are all good journal prompts for this time of year. I also think about fall as a time for harvest. So again, it's a great time of year to take um, stock of what you have harvested this year. I like to you know, begin to reflect on what I've learned this year, the progress I've made, and then to use this, this too, kind of like as a reset for considering like what's next in my life. Where do I need to improve? Who do I want to become? And uh, what opportunities do I need to seek out that you know will help me grow in this way? I think these two are probably some good journal prompts. So maybe what I'll do is uh, I'll go ahead and, and drop a list of these all, all the journal prompts I've used in the video. In the in the description for this video as well for you the last thing that I guess I'd like to mention and when we think about seasonal changes um, is I always like to think when the season change I like to think about um, eating a little bit differently I've been noticing some of the winter squash popping up at the farmers markets but I, I honestly have held off on buying them because I really have been wanting to enjoy the last of the foods that I associate with summer while the weather was still hot <laughs> and you know things like melons and green beans and summer squash that type of thing but I think this weekend um, I'll probably go ahead and get some of the winter squash I think it's time I, I like to think of 
moving towards some warmer foods um, this time of year. And you can really, you can contrast like a summer squash with a winter squash. One's like lighter and um, the, that winter squash is more dense. It's, um, yeah, it just feels kind of cozier. Um, I like, I like soups year round, but I start to like want heartier soups. I also like roasted vegetables or I begin to want um, like a, a sweet potato, that type of thing that type of thing this time of year. Um, anyway, I think all the things that we talked about feel like things that are nurturing and warming you up from the inside. And uh, I think perhaps that's maybe the reason why so many of us, you know, really crave the fall vibes and really get excited about fall. I think oftentimes now we spend too much time being so busy and we could really use a lot more slowing down and a lot more calming and nurturing in our lives. What do you think about this? I mean, do you crave like the fall vibes as well? Regardless, I hope after watching this video, you take some extra time for slowing down and reflecting in your own life this year. And I guess just a quick reminder, if you've enjoyed this, to subscribe if you haven't already, to help me spread the word by sharing this with your friends and uh, I've been getting some some steady growth here on the channel lately and and I know that that's because of the help from you all so I am so appreciative of that because um, this is something that that I really do enjoy doing anyway have a great week my friends